Oh, wise cards. Today we're going to ask a question about life. So stick around, everyone, because the cards are going to have three keys to flourishing through life for you today. Thanks for joining me. I'm John Paulus, and you're listening to Life's Potluck Buffet, only on YouTube. Okay, so I am going to ask the cards, what are three keys for flourishing through life? And what I'm going to do, I think, is I have to make a decision here. I have to decide whether I'm going to shuffle three times when, you know, in between each draw or whether I'm going to take the top three cards. You know, I think I'm going to shuffle three times. And in fact, I'm going to put the card that I chose um, first back and then shuffle. And then the second one I'll put back just so that we have those things still floating around there. Because if we draw it again, then that's going to be, you know, it's going to have to be as many cards as we draw three times. So if it's the same card three times, that is going to be our key to flourishing. So um, I don't think that's going to happen because I know the cards wouldn't probably wouldn't let that happen, right, cards? I'm trusting you on this one. So, all right, here we go. So I put understand your style, which, as you will recall from yesterday's episode, was our answer um, to yesterday's question. And um, that's about, um, you know, handling fear, if you'll recall. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to do my special shuffle. So three times I will do the casual shuffle. And I'll shuffle them in a very traditional way to meld them together. All right. Okay, and then I look for the gap. Okay, there are there's two gaps, but there's one big one, so I guess I should take that one. All right, here we go. So the first key to flourishing through life is to understand that everything that happens to us is only partly our doing. That's card 17. There is no amount of plotting and planning that will result in us navigating our world exactly as we think we want to. Get in your ship, set course, weigh anchor, and open your heart to the idea that you have been in the right port at the right time before and you will be again. All right, that is number one. Everything that happens to us is only partly our doing. That's key number one to understanding how to flourish through life. Okay. I like that because it talks about you, you know you've been in the right place before and it'll happen again. If, you're in the, if you feel like you're just not in the right place, be assured that you'll be at that right port again, that that ship, your ship, will sail into the right port and that, you know, there's only, I think I talked about this idea recently, the idea that we can't, you know, it's like an 80-20 thing. Is like 20% of the things that happen to us we can control, 80% are kind of out of our control. Once you realize it that way or once you think about it that way, it, to me that's comforting. And I think that that's, um, yeah, that's what this card is telling us. Card number 17. Okay, so I'm going to put that on the bottom. And I'm going to reshuffle. I feel like I have to put it on the bottom to, to kind of not keep it out of the deck because the cards have to, they have to be a whole deck in order to do this. So, okay. So, all right, I'm reshuffling three times, casual shuffle. Then I'll back away from the mic and do one more shuffle. Oops. Okay. There we have it. Then I'll look for, ooh, this one's a tough one. There's a gap, but it's very, very small. Um, okay, there it is. All right, here we go. Card number 50. 
Consider one strength that you have. What is your signature strength in any circumstance you find yourself? Apply that strength to every problem you encounter and give yourself a secret title that reflects that strength. You'll recall on an episode from a few months ago, I came up with the idea on the spot of the obviator. You know, the person who, that that was my secret strength that I was thinking about being the kind of person that helps people clear the way for themselves. And uh, I think that this is um, a really important key here is to operate from a position of strength every time. So find out what that position of strength is that you're operating from and do it every time. So that's key number two. It's card 50. Understand how to operate from your key strength, your signature strength, every time. So that's a really good tip, I think, because we had understand, right? Remember, card 17 was the first thing. Understand that everything that happens to us is only partly our doing. And then this card really addresses that card, doesn't it? Because 20% of what happens to us is our doing, and the other 80% is out of our control. So in that 20%, consider how to operate from a place of strength in every single percentage of that 20% of the stuff you do, operate from a place of strength. And doing that, we can't go wrong. Okay, so that's t- key number two to flourishing in life. All right, I'm going to put this card back, and then we're going to draw card three. There's an, all right, here we go. So casual shuffle, two, three. And then I will cut the deck and shuffle one more time. Okay, all right, and I will cut the deck from, oh, there's a very big, this is actually, it's actually the card is sticking out here, so okay, so I'm going to go with this card, whatever this is, is going to be our card. <laughs> we'll see if it's, we'll see if this is, this is the third one, okay. <laughs> the third key to flourishing in life is always get people's names right. This is card 31, and it's rule number one of Life's Potluck Buffet. Let me read the card to you. We are our names, truly. And your effort to get people's names right will make them feel that they are visible as who they are. When we get names wrong, we're accidentally erasing and replacing someone's identity. Write and speak people's names correctly, Ask again if someone's name doesn't stick, or ask the person to help you pronounce it. This should not be overlooked as a small thing. So that rule, which is rule number one in Life's Pollock Buffet, is our third key to flourishing through life, is to get people's names right. And you see that the base concept of this rule is not, you know, it's not like... uh, it's not meant to be either kind of a picky thing where you're like too detail oriented and like obsessive. And it's also not meant to be a thing where you kind of like beat yourself up over the fact that you didn't get someone's name right because it happens. You know, this card accepts that fact. Obviously that's, (laughs) that's why it's a rule because rules exist because the opposite of the rules happen. Right. That's, that's how rules work. So at the base of this card is none of those things that are turning inwardly against yourself and blaming yourself for like getting someone's name name wrong. But what's what's present here is the idea of of visibility and making sure that you are seeing everyone in your life in a metaphorical sense and in the um, in the figurative sense that 
you are honoring their existence. And this is a matter of respect. This is a matter of respecting people's humanity. And that's what the, this card is getting at, is do everything you can to make sure that you um, make people feel seen by you. And that's an absolute key to flourishing in life. So those are the three keys we have for today. We had, just to review, we had understand that everything you do is only partially you're doing. That 80-20 thing, where 20% is stuff that you do, and 80% are things that happen to us. And know that you are going to be in the right port again, wherever you are right now. And the second rule was card 50, which talked about how to operate from a position of strength. Identify what that strength is and operate from that position of strength every time you encounter a difficult circumstance. And every time in that 20% of things that you do that are you're doing, every percentage of that dedicate to operating from a position of strength. And finally, card 31, get people's names right, making people feel seen as the human beings that they are is the fundamental and absolute essential principle to flourishing in life because no person, we know this, no person is an island. And we share this world with all the other humans on it. And not seeing all the other humans is going to lead to the opposite of flourishing. So keep those three things in mind and have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow on the next episode of Life's Potluck Buffet. (laughs) 